Hey everybody, here we have yet another part system. This is a Value Village computer. Got this one from the Gastonia Valley Village, more or less in Gastonia, North Carolina. And in this video, I'm going to talk about a little something to try to watch out for when you buy part systems. Let's say if you're refurbishing computers, and that kind of stuff. Um, I got this system with intentions of getting Windows Vista or later installed on it. I mean, just from, just from a glance, it looks very capable. It's a socket 775 motherboard with four DDR2 DIMM slots. It does not have a PCI Express video card slot, but you're thinking, oh, sure, it's got decent graphics on board. This is a budget system. It currently has a Celeron D processor. The intentions were to upgrade that to probably a Pentium. Four Pentium D, or maybe a Pentium dual core if it was new enough to support it. Currently it has a Hypro 250 watt power supply, it has a DB ROM drive. Hard disk drive was pulled out of it. It still has the memory. Currently has one 256 megabyte DDR2 DIM installed. And here's the second module here, just like we're close similar to the one that's in it. So a total of 512 megs of RAM. System originally had Windows XP. Not really sure of the size of hard drive that was in it. But anyways, um, something a little fishy about this one is the model number on the bottom. It says HP Pavilion A1000Y, and of course up here is A1100Y. And when I looked this system up, according to that model number. The list of motherboard is actually different. It's even worse than this. Okay, that being said, let me go ahead and discuss what I want to talk about here. As I mentioned, this motherboard looks very well capable. I mean, it does need some repair done, some repair work done to it. There's a few um, bulging capacitors on there. Kimicon KZG is a bad series. But the chipset is the limiting factor on this motherboard. And speaking of which, it's hot as a match. This motherboard has the Intel 915GV chipset, and while it's a you know it's an older chipset, it was you would find this chipset in systems manufacturing around let's say 2005 to 2006. But the disappointment here is this chipset, although it has 120 megabytes of memory, I mean well video memory you can allocate from the system memory, it cannot support Windows Arrow. It cannot support um, WDDM at all. You're stuck with XP style graphics. So if you're running Windows Vista or Windows 7 on this particular motherboard, or any board with an Intel 915 chipset, you're stuck with um, very basic graphics unless you upgrade a video card. And of course, with that PCI Express slot missing, you have no choice but to use a PCI video card. And those can be pretty expensive. Unfortunately, I only paid twenty dollars for this system. If I didn't mention already, paid I'd say around twenty-one dollars after tax. So I'll be saving the power supply and the DVD ROM drive out of this system. And Google Computer Works can have the rest of it because I have no use for systems like this. I mean, if um, if Windows XP was still well into support, that'd be a different story. I could load XP on it, but XP is about to get timed out of support by, by Microsoft. I could install Linux on here, but I'm not sure how well my Linux, um, how well Linux system would sell to the average user. But yeah, so anytime you're looking at systems to buy, and they're from like 2005 to 2006. Always keep in mind on the Intel systems. Does it have a 915 chipset or does it have a 945 chipset or later? If it's 945 or later, it will support WDDM or more or less Windows Arrow. If it's a 915 or older, it will not. But if it's a 915 or older system with a PCI Express slot available, you could still install a PCI Express video card. So anyways, other than that, the system works okay, despite having some failed capacitors on it. But anyways, just some advice for you guys. 
And yes, um, like I mentioned, with the power supply and the DVD-ROM drive, I'd still say I got my money's worth out of it. So, I didn't really lose on this system. So anyways, any questions or comments, feel free to ask and thanks for watching.